and Sam, thank you. You two need to be a bit more careful. Sorry, Sam. Uncle Sam, look over there! Oh no, we have to deal with that before it spreads. What? Where are the beaters? The what? The floppy shovels. Uh, you see, the thing is, we use them as paddles. Last time we saw them, they were floating off down the river. It was all Norman's fault. I don't care whose fault it was. If we don't beat out that fire, it's going to spread fast. Mm, no broken bones. It's just badly bruised. Thank goodness for that. What on earth has been going on here? We've been getting fit. Well, I hope you really warmed up before you started. Well, uh... And built up slowly. Oh, uh, oh! <gasps> There's a woodland fire near the mill. There's a woodland fire near the mill. Hold on. Where do you think you all are going? There is no way this crew is fit for duty. But there's a fire in the woods. I'm afraid, sir, this is down to us. What? Oh, yes, us. <laughs> I'll just get my helmet. Stay well back, everyone. Help will be here very soon. Uh, where's the rest of the crew, sir? I'll explain later, Sam, but we're here now and ready for action. Okay, then. Let's get this fire under control. You two take the hoses. I'll start beating. This could have been easily dealt with if you... James, it's very important that the smoke alarm is working properly. Okay. Mm. Now. Uh, uh, <sighs> ah! Well, what do you think? It's amazing. I'm quite impressed, actually. Great, eh? Big and wild. Wild enough for. The, the wild, wild men, men of Ponty Pandy. Pandy. <laughs> we should get a photo. Great idea, Mandy. Everyone, gather together in front of the bear. Just wait till the wild men of Newtown see this. Shuffle back, everyone. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Great. That's more like it. Now, everyone say. Grr. What, the Grizzlies? <gasps> we better call Fireman Sam. We can't. The radio is in the tent. Oh. I'll run to the rescue center and call for help. Trevor and I will get everyone to safety. Come on, kids. Oh, I sure hope that fire doesn't spread to the forest. James, you've completed the Fireman Sam Challenge. Hooray! Uh, <laughs> now, I just need to finish this. We're back! <laughs> ah. oh. Uncle Sam! Hi! Firefighter McKinley, standing by. Firefighter War, standing by. Wallaby One, standing by. Well, this is relaxing. Uh, 
Right. On with the show. Uh, uh hello, Ponty Pandy. Well done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> yes. Right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Bye. Well, I just hope Mike does as well as me. Hello, Putty Pandy. I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Scrum Master 2000. Ta-da! That's place I know where people say hello! Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it up all the way, Joe! <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear! Oh, no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that! Dad, you need to stop! Someone needs to call! Fireman Sam! Oh. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire! Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury! <laughs> Ellie, Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Roger that, Sam. Power's off, Sam! I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it through his solo. Everyone, move back. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 yards back for maximum safety. All out, Sam. Hey, at the key. Okay, Bella. Ah, it's not fair. I'm missing the match, and all because of this silly pizza. Huh? No, this is how you attack. And this is how you defend. Well, there's nothing for us to do here. We might as well all go home. And this is how you scissor kick. <laughs> oh, oh, my back. Hmm. Pizza smells a bit smoky. A bit too smoky. <gasps> oh, no. Ba help. Fire. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 There is a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. There's a hill fire in Ponty Pandy Park. We'll fight the fire from the bottom of the hill. Elvis and Ellie, evacuate everyone from the stand. Glad everyone's safe. Whenever there's a fire on a slope, it's always important to stay below the flames because fire and smoke travel uphill very quickly. Circus sheep. 
Now this is entertaining. Wait till you see them jump the trembling Tower of Crockery. Jump, my woolly wonders! of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pansy. Sounds like they're heading this way, sir. <gasps> no, my model village. We'll need to act fast to set up a blockade. So, we'll need Arnold, Ellie, and Elvis to bring all the vehicles down. Then we can block off this street, this street, and this street while we round up the sheep along here. Roger that, Sam. We'll be needing our animal rescue uniforms. The runaway sheep now, sir. Thank heavens for that. Come back here, you silly sheep. Whoa! Oh! Oh, my poor little vegetables. Got you. You stay there, Gareth. As I'm king of the dragons, I just want to add some last minute touches. <laughs> Once the king of dragons has a fire breathing dragon, I will be the greatest king ever. Ah, behold, my dragon. Wow, it's amazing. It's great. It's on fire. What? Wow! Huh? Oh. And it's coming toward us! Oh! oh no! It's rolling towards the station! I think I better call Fireman Sam! Fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. That's a new one. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. Fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. 
Thank you, sir. Well, Ellie, I might not have gotten into the smoke room today, but I did get to fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> you did, Elvis. <laughs> oh, dear. It looks like Norman might be about to get a good telling off. From Fireman Sam? No, far worse. Norman Price! I can't believe you nearly set Fire Captain Steele's Nelly! Uh, I think you'll find that's Bessie. Fire Captain Steele's Bessie? On fire! I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't do it on purpose. I know it was an accident, Norman, but you were playing with matches. And that is one thing you should never do. <laughs> Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Penny, you and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger that, that Sam. Sam. Shut off the electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. I got out of my animal rescue uniform. I'm ready to fight the fire. I'm sorry, Elvis. It's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Wait. It's not too late. What is it, Hannah? I put lots of pizzas in our oven and turned it up really high. Oh, no. That might be on fire, too. Ah! I'm on my way. Sorry, I got everyone to cram too many pizzas in the ovens. I think I got a bit bossy. Oh, there you are. And you're hanging upside down. Awesome. Norman is so wrong. You're scared of me, not the other way around. Oh, this must be one of those underground streams. Oh! turned into a bat! Be quiet, Norman Price. Sounds like she's a long way down. Call Fireman Sam. Mandy Flood is trapped in the caves. Looks like we're heading back to the mountain, Sam. Let's take Hydrus. What happened? We just heard a scream. Don't worry, I know these caves. Huh? <gasps> Careful, Sam. This tunnel sometimes floods. It's really dangerous. Help! Help! Don't worry, Mandy. I'm coming down.
Are you okay, Mandy? Here's some water. Oh, thanks, Penny. I slipped, but I think I'm okay. You're a long way down. What do you think, Penny? I can't carry her up. There's no room for us both to fit. We've got to find another way. Oh. Oh. oh, what's that noise? What's going on down there? I can hear Fire Captain Steele working on the handcart. Hmm. Ah! She'll be growing batty wings by now and hanging upside down. Poor Mandy Bat. Moose, is there a map of the caves? Yeah, right here. These are the caves. They go into the mountain this way, and the old mines go into the mountain this way. And they get pretty close, just where Mandy is trapped. Huh. Your fault, Norman Price! We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sing? Oh no, not you again. Shoot, shoot! Huh? No, no, stop that! Get off! <laughs> <laughs> Elvis? Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, Fireman Sam, but it was that nasty seagull's fault. Norman, it was our fault? We should have waited like my dad told us. <sighs> Mandy's right. We should have waited. Sorry, Mike. Well, as long as you've learned your lesson, remember, Safety always comes first. I'm just pleased you're both okay. And we even saved the bouncy castle. Oh. oh. Now I'll have to fix it and blow it up all over again. Thank you, Norman. Uh, when it's ready, Mike, can I have the first bounce? Ah, oh, Fire Captain Steel. How's Elvis getting on with my passion fruit and pecan pastry? You said you'd ask Elvis to make it for me. Ooh, that, I, uh, <laughs> well, I forgot. Uh, sorry, Dillis. Oh, no, but the fishy fun day starts in half an hour. Um, Quidlington, I need you in the kitchen immediately. Sorry, Fire Captain Steel. I'm playing at the fishy fun day. Don't want to let my fans down. But I need you to make a dessert. Someone say they needed a dessert? Uh, huh. No! Oh, oh, I'm seeing double! He's not me, sir! He's my cousin! I'm Jerry Lee! Jerry Lee Cridlington! Another Cridlington? Oh! Oh! You should ask Jerry Lee! He's an even better cook than me! <laughs> Ta da! One passion fruit and pecan puff pastry. Oh, Jerry Lee, that's marvelous. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I suppose having two Cridlingtons around isn't such a bad thing. Oh, delicious. I have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. My Norman's downstream! They're in the water! Downstream. The dogs! Trevor ate my sausage rolls! <laughs> Stay calm! We'll find him! I'm launching Saturn! Now! There he is! Norman, grab onto this! Come 
Come in, Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can, if we take a shortcut. Get ready, Penny. Gotcha! <laughs> Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, ooh, and very licky. Norman, you know, if pets are in danger, owners should never try to save them. Always call a rescue service. And never play near water unless an adult is there to watch you. I'm sorry. But you did show you cared. Maybe you are ready to have a dog of your own. No way. Dogs are naughty. You tell them one thing, they do another. And they're always getting into trouble. Sounds like someone else I know. Come in, Penny. Still here. I love my new desk. But why is there a slide in the lounge area? I thought we could keep the slide. We'll remove it immediately, sir. Um, oh, ah, uh, yes, you may have to remove me first. Uh, oh, oh. oh. This way! No, this way! No, that way! No, that way! Tell me the odds. I want my mom! <laughs> I'm going to climb on now! <laughs> that stopped the engine, but you still have no brakes and you're heading straight for the cliffs! Elvis, I want you to throw a rope to the bus to slow it down. You mean? Yep. Get out your lasso and round them up, partner. Now hit the brakes, Penny! just in time. Well, you can thank Elvis for that. But you should always check that vehicles are safe before you drive them. And if that brake cylinder belongs to this bus, then I'm guessing it wasn't. It's all right, James. Nearly there. Oh. Ah, gotcha. Thanks, Sam. Here's two free tickets to the premiere of my new spy movie. It will have the most spectacular stunts ever! It sounds great, Norman. Just make sure the stunts aren't too dangerous, okay? Yes, Sam. Faster! Faster! Oh, this car chase scene looks incredible! Are you getting all this, Sarah? Yes, Norman! Aim for that wall of empty boxes, James! This is the bit where you have a spectacular James, I'll call Fireman Sam. 
this McChin fellow is top notch. <laughs> ah, reminds me of a young me. That's James in a runaway go kart heading for the pier. James Jones is in a runaway go kart heading towards the pier. That's what I said. I'll be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman? I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. Well, good luck. Jake Pond, Super Spy, scene 57. Showdown in the villain's lair. Action! Ah! Ah, Mr. Pond, I've been a- If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help.